Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and thank you for all your likes and shares and for all those new people that are watching for the first time welcome please subscribe and hit the bell on all and have a look if you don't know how to uh, set your uh, settings or to get notifications there is a video I've made on how to set your settings and give YouTube permission to get notified you also have to do it in your mobile device so I hope that video will help you as well I'm using the transparent tarot again and I'm using the everyday witch tarot as we are going into Libra on the between the 21st and the 23rd and there's also the fall equinox in the pagan um, calendar okay and autumn in our own calendar so uh, there are beautiful things happening okay and it is the power of three so creativity and action Whoop. It's great fun and I'm really excited because the first episode of the English uh, uh, the series of The Witch is out again. I'm doing that with Georgina and I'll be doing the Dutch one very soon. Okay, uh, with Wendy of course. And there's also going to be loads of fun in the autumn besides the series. There will also be workshops hopefully. Uh, for those that are interested and I'll be interacting with a lot of you uh, that will join Charlie's Angel crowd there will also be free giveaways okay because I've been promising this for months and months and months but the package was lost and uh, I, it's finally come in so the Shadowlands that was going to be the price for um, in the competition now we can actually start getting to do that okay so if you want tarot cards or oracle cards then follow me and um, join in with the competition or whatever I'm going to do to give away the free uh, uh, decks okay um, so that bit of news and oh, I'm so happy I really am I'll be making a video on that uh, as well just to let share with you what the giveaways will be but I have to wait for Wendy to join us as well because we were going to do that anyway in the autumn okay let's get started with your reading Taurus and please keep on sharing and liking and if anybody's got any ideas um, then let me know please the first card that you have is the lovers and remember Halloween is coming so that's why I'm using this deck I love this little deck it's so chirpy and cheerful I love the witches and they've got the Pinocchios or it looks like leggings you know like elf leggings or fairy leggings I love it it's a cheerful deck you've got the lovers so there might be a Gemini or you could be meeting a Gemini uh, uh, and there could be a Gemini around you Woo, nice one okay so the lovers also means that you might meet your soulmate or that you have perceived or found out that you have found your soulmate Wow and I'm doing the Transparo deck later on I'll be explaining that and then putting it onto the everyday witch tarot then you have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups of course is Scorpio so there could be a Gemini or Scorpio but don't forget um, with the Queen uh, of Cups that it could also be Cancer or Pisces or perhaps something has happened in June and July that was quite significant and that you are really happy about and that you are nurturing it because the Queen of Cups has a big tummy a belly as they say I don't like the word belly tummy um, she might you might have uh, got pregnant in June or Ju July or you might have given birth in June or July and 
you are absolutely happy. I think it's more likely that you found out that you're pregnant for those people that um, uh, are young enough to get pregnant. If you are too mature, then you might have had an idea that has been material uh, that you've uh, thought about in June and July and is coming out now. Uh, your idea is giving birth into the material world. Awesome. You might have become just might have become a grandmother or an aunt. Wow, exciting, beautiful, and it could be a Scorpio. So you you might be hearing the news now that you will become an aunt, a godmother, or a grandmother um, because somebody might be living out in an other country and there hasn't been a connection or you haven't seen each other because of the COVID and now you're finding out that this person is going to give birth in the time of Scorpio. Yes, there's only another four or five weeks and then we are in Scorpio as we will be going into Libra on the 21st, between the 21st and the 23rd. I've done the uh, Libra energy video, so have a look at that one as well if you like. Um, so be aware there is a nurturing, caring person around you that you might meet or that you will see again after not seeing each other for a long time. If you're not meeting uh, up with a Scorpio, then you might be taking a page out of the Queen of Cups book and be nurturing yourself a little bit more in the coming weeks. Okay, then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, look at that. She is relaxing and having the life of a queen. Literally, like, because she's also lying next door to the Queen of Cups, and you are emotionally fulfilled and materially fulfilled, and that is why you are back in balance. Because the lovers also reminds me of the number two, although it is number six in the big arcana. One and one, two people coming together means balancing. So it is also speaking to me that you are in balance, emotionally as well as materially. Ooh, and where there is a, an ending, because a nine is an ending, there will be a new beginning and you're going into a better phase. Awesome. But you don't know what you're going to do because you seem to be relaxing so you might be ending up thinking and thinking something might be gnawing at you because look at this man he's just watching staring in front of him and he he doesn't know what to do perhaps you are getting so much money that you don't know what to do with it well I know what I would do I would go on holiday um, and anyway, there will be an offer coming in, as you can see, but you can't because you've got your, uh, he's got his hand, the back of his hand to, um, uh, towards this little page or person that's bringing in the offer. Get out of your head. You are perfectly in balance, Th m uh, emotionally and financially so don't worry so much okay so get out of your head don't be depressed come into action because there's more on offer have a look at what you have and not at what you don't have wow be more grateful and then things will come more le much quicker to you um, if you are grateful and you thank the divine and the angels thank the environment the ultimate energy wow and talking about balance we have the scales here of justice 
justice will be done. Don't worry, you will get what you deserve. Literally, the Nine of Pentacles, you might even get a reimbursement uh, of a damage. Or uh, somebody might have taken something from you and you get it back. Justice will be done. You are in balance, like I said, emotionally and financially or materially. Now, you could be meeting a Libra. This is the Gemini and that is an air sign. This is a Libra. And look where it lies. You might literally join up and get married because this is the scales and that and this is justice and justice is also an institution a municipality so i think you will be joining hands in matrimony at the registrar boom you've got the scales and it is balanced you feel absolutely in balance with and in tune with your soulmate you are bringing each other balance and peace and harmony and that is what Libra represents now we've got the three of wands and the three of wands means plans coming to fruition you've thought about it definitely plans are coming to fruition now if I lay it on top of here then you can see that the three is right above the tummy, right? So this could be this could be you, this could be your partner, and this could be the baby. One, two, three. Plans coming to fruition. Like I said, you'll be giving birth something, you might be an idea into the material world, or you might be literally giving birth. It's literally coming together. Wow. Then we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is also um, a person that uh, is straightforward. He's a thinker. He's a communicator. He knows the letter of the law. He will fight um, for you. He will protect you. Um, he's got his emotions under control, but he will cut straight through to the core to get to the bottom of something. So if you are worried about something and you are in your head about something, about the justice card, you know, somebody's done you wrong, then yes, the plans will come to fruition. He will cut straight through to the middle and he will cut the 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 negativity out and he will get clarity for you he will get justice for you he the truth will always come out okay that's one side of the uh, king of swords he's a very strong swift forceful man if need be but he's such a loving intelligent humor uh, humoristic person on the other side remember there's two sides to everybody but the Gemini has got four <laughs> if one person has got two then Gemini has got four okay because they're a dual sign and remember that the king of swords is Gemini but don't forget Libra or uh, Aquarius okay now we're going to put him on top of the other card and look, he's standing right beside you or right on top of you. And he will protect your money. Look at this. All the money is behind him, behind the sword. He will get the truth. He will get your money back. Or he will get you that promotion or recognition. Okay? That you're a nurturing, beautiful, caring person. Wow, you're, that you're balanced, that you've got brilliant ideas that will come to fruition. Now, we have the Nine of Wands. You've had a tough time. Yes, you might have had a tough time. 
now this is a nine you had a nine of pentacles now you've got the nine of wands so the angels are this is a double number so the angels have your back so now you are taking a rest literally you are leaning on your wand and look at her here she's also resting okay she's in enjoying her rest here but you are getting bored perhaps or depressed about something if you have a judicial issue it could be with an institution or a municipality a school a hospital or a court but you will re re get into a better period a nine is an ending where there is an ending there's a new beginning and this is quite significant because I told you three is important now if you add nine and nine together that is eighteen eight and one becomes a nine so actually you've got three nines so if you see three nines nine 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 then that is your message from the angels or the divine and do you see that you are thinking about problems don't worry you're taking a rest okay it's behind you now there's an offer coming in look at the ones that is behind you you don't have to because you've got the one just lean on that until you see the new beginning because the offer is coming in towards you literally in the the uh, the nine of ones and in the four of cups look it's coming towards you turn round turn round so that you can see what's happening around you boom amazing so now we're going to put the story together now you've got you've met your soulmate and or you've found out that this is the man or the person woman that you want to marry you are one look at them they're sort of going boom like that joining hands justice balance okay then we have the three of ones and you might be expending um, your situation or your family because you've got the baby right on top of your hands you're holding this out you're you're re open to receive your plans are coming to fruition it's growing whatever it is it could be an idea to put it out into the material world will which will bring its rediment or return to you money 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 you have got all the official help and protection that you need this could be from a Gemini okay or a Libra that are lying here awesome the end is in sight you can turn your back look at his back is turned to the problem okay you don't have to worry you have met somebody if this is a romance reading then I would say you've met somebody that will fight for you through thick and thin now that is a general reading you might have somebody around you that fights for you through thick and thin or you will be meeting them it's that is what you're longing for because it's right on top of you on your heart Wow amazing and somebody will get clarity um, and we'll get the money for you if need be Wow so stop worrying because it's coming in okay the office will be there end of negativity going into a beautiful harmonious and peaceful energy that is also what um, Libra stands for and that is also what um, the energy is of Libra okay it's also the house of marriage so that is actually coming out in this reading 
big happy changes. What did I say? That is what the angels are saying. Okay. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is from the romance cards. Open your heart to beautiful things. This is a romance card. Yes, I know. Perhaps in the past you um, had a bad experience and you're thinking and pondering about that and wondering whether anybody will ever come back in your life that is worth your love. Okay? I'm saying worth your love because you are worthy of being loved. But you have to have a proper definite loving person that will fight for you like the king of swords that will protect you and not harm you and that is what seems to be the case you he's looking towards the queen of cups and the three of wands okay he's got the idea and he will put it in to the material world being with you you will be protected by the divine, the angels, and uh, your guides. Three, three, three. Now, three, three, three is nine, and you've got nine, 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 and nine is eighteen, so it's also a nine. Three and nine is a lucky number for you this week. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Take care and come out of your head and enjoy your week look around you be happy it's there okay ciao ciao